If you've missed some of the programs that we've done here earlier, they are all available on the Bible Talk website or go to InSearchOfChristianity.com because we've discussed this in detail there. And I don't want to do it again in detail, but I just want to bring this to you. I'm, I'm going to distract myself. I've said from the very beginning of this program that this is for the bond servants of Jesus That's Christ. Right. That's correct. This is, the, this is supposed to be the meat of the word, not the milk of the word, mm -hmm. right? And if your expectation is that you can come here and in 30 minutes get everything you need, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I am here not so much to teach as I am to encourage you to hear from the Lord. Prime the pump, as it were. And absolutely. Because faith comes by hearing. Not hearing me, hearing. but hearing God. Mm -hmm. You've got to spend time with this, apart from this program, with the Lord, if you want it to become the reality of your life. All right, having said that, Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of ministries, and the same Lord. I'm reading from 1 Corinthians 12, by the way. Mm -hmm right there are varieties of effects but the same God who works all things in all persons but to each one is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good that's verses 4 to 7 now in 11 it says but one and the same spirit works all these things distributing to each one individually just as he wills everybody is equipped by the Holy Spirit for a ministry that God has called you to. Now, some ministries are more visible, okay? Yes. The fellow who stands behind the pulpit and speaks to you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's highly visible to the whole congregation. Yes. The guys who get up and play songs. The music ministry. The music ministry, not the worship ministry. Right. They're highly visible. But you want to know something? The guy who gets up, Joe the sweeper, who gets up at the end and cleans. That's just as much a ministry. And every ministry is supposed to be what you do as unto the Lord. All right? And they are all precious in the eyes of God. But every Christian has a ministry. Can you deny that based on the scriptures I just read? Not at all. Okay. Then here's the other thing. Every ministry is full time. You can't walk out the door of your church building on a Sunday and throw the switch and turn it off. As a matter of fact, that may be the place you turn it off when you go in there. Right. Because so far, we seem to equate ministry with what goes on inside that building rather than goes, what goes on in our own lives. Okay? Some of the ministries that are more visible that I just talked about uh, they may they may get more attention because they're stepping on serpents, okay, more visibly. <clears throat> One of the things we learned in the jungle, okay, I come from New York City. They didn't have a lot of snakes in New York City. You go to the jungle, the snakes. Yeah. Well, the snakes of New York City were different kinds. Different kind, yeah. <laughs> Typically, if you leave a snake alone, that snake's going to leave you alone. But if you step on a snake, it's going to bite you. It's going to strike. Yes. But Jesus has given us authority to tread Serpent. on serpents. Yes. Why is the church afraid of the devil when the devil is supposed to be afraid of the church? Amen. You know, there's the account of the sons of Sceva in the, book's act, yes. in the book of Acts. Yes. And while the apostles are casting out demons and doing all this, they see this and they come and they're trying to cast out demons. Mm -hmm. All right? They're trying to cast out a demon, and this demon stops and says to them, Who are you? Jesus I, I know, Paul I know about, but who are you? Mm. And beats them silly. Kaboom. Let me ask you a question. How did they know, how did the evil spirit know yeah. about Paul? I'm going to tell you, I know the answer to that. Because... In Paul's life, those demons were running around saying to each other, oh, you better watch out for that Paul. If you run into that Paul, you better watch out. That's supposed to be the life that we live, walking always in the triumph of Christ Jesus, 
walking with the weapons that are divinely powerful when he's been disarmed. It's the reputation we need to Why have. is the church afraid of the, the devil when the devil is supposed to be afraid of the church? My Jesus.